Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I have an exciting update for our Divi Responsive Helper plugin. Let's take a look at all of the new features and settings. All right, so our plugin continues to be one of the most popular third-party plugins in the world for Divi, and for good reason, it keeps getting better. And we are continually thinking of new things to add, and be sure to let me know if you have ideas. But anyway, let's take a look at what is new in version 2.1. Now, just before we get started, there were some features that we've kind of snuck into the plugin in some smaller bug fix updates. So like actual features, normally we release features with that second number or the first number, you know, and then do bug fixes with that third number. Um, but I'm going to cover some of the items that we've added since 2.0. So some of them were actually um, kind of released without any kind of fanfare, but let's talk about them. So this first one, responsive settings for navigation menu per device. Long story short, that means you could have a totally different navigation menu for tablet, phone, desktop, right? And you can choose it in the menu module. Now by default, you can't do that. Let's take a look at it in the real world here. All right, so here's the menu module, and you'll see that I have added this responsive icon. Without our plugin, this is not there. You can only choose a menu, that's it. All right, so what I've done is just uh, created a different menu in WordPress, and then I'm just assigning them. See that? I can assign a different one um, per device. So that feature is super helpful. Um, I use that on our website because Actually, no, I, I don't anymore. I used to um, because I had different menu items to show up like a, like a simpler menu, right? Like I had a bigger menu on desktop and then a simpler menu on mobile. So that would be a really good use case for that. All right, next is disable hover effects on touch devices. So another thing that should be built into Divi, but it's not. So here we are to the rescue. Um, you know, it's awkward when you're clicking on something you're scrolling down through on your phone and you know maybe there was like a shadow or something that changes size or changes color and it's just awkward it shouldn't be doing that um, on your phone that's like a thing when you hover over with the mouse so this new feature disables the hover effect um, on on phones um, on smaller devices um, we do include a way to disable that per section row or module if you want to um, but again, these things are all in theme options. I guess I should have mentioned that right here. So like menu, um, oh, we didn't get to that one yet, but like right here. So like disable animations on mobile, disable hover effects, on touch devices, all of these things are in here. Um, another one we're gonna talk about is show an open menu. Um, basically that was what we showed you in here. You may have actually seen it and you're like, oh, right here. So this option will just open up the menu on mobile instead of showing it as a hamburger menu, like instead of the icon. So that's another one. Um, that was the next one here on my list. So um, it's, it's a simple one, but it's actually really helpful. A lot of times, like even if you had a simple menu, like your legal menu, terms and conditions, privacy policy, whatever, at the bottom of your site, and you didn't want there to be like three hamburger menus there, you wanted them to be open. Um, I use it all the time, it, seriously, like that, I was really, it's simple, but it's a nice feature. Um, another one that we snuck in and didn't tell you about was totally custom media queries. All right, so in, in here again, in CSS media queries, we already had these um, for desktop only, tablet only, phone only, no, tablet phone. But these new ones, see, now I can say like, um, for, for whatever size, right? Um, some Something pixels, you know, to that. And then I could write my code, you know? Um, whatever, you know, whatever I wanna write here. And that will apply in between that media query, right? So that size, and there's uh, five different boxes here. So that's really cool. You can t make your, your own custom media queries without, you know, writing them. So just add code like normal and then choose your um, min width and max width. All right, and then this one here, exclude sections, rows, and modules uh, from the widow fixer. So 
you can so now um we used to have all the settings like we still do it but um you know you set your paragraphs and heading you can exclude pages like that um like I could click on these and say, well, I don't want the widow fixer to apply to those pages. But now we can kind of get more granular and we can turn this on and then add this class, exclude widow fixer. So like if, if it just isn't looking right for one of your modules or sections, whatever, just add that class and then it won't apply to that. Oh, another one, theme options import and export so you probably know up here is an up and down arrow right you can import and export and you could kind of use this as like a preset saving like a template of like all your settings in Divi you know you know maybe you have this on or off for different colors and whatever right but it never worked for our plugin settings and I didn't even know that <laughs> um, someone pointed it out I'm like oh yeah so we, we uh, adjusted our code a little and now you can import and export and it will take along our settings as well. Um, this next one, widow fixer on responsive content. Well, that basically means, um, so like responsive content is when you have something on tablet, desktop or phone. So like right here, if I had a text module and I opened this up, like I could write something here and I could write something totally different on that and then something totally different here too, right? The widow fixer wasn't applying when people do that. And you have to be really careful when you do this um, responsive content, it's just saying. Um, but now if you do, you won't have to worry about that not working. Uh, let's see, oh, one more here is disable Divi responsive views in the back end. So we have our setting here, disable the, the Divi responsive views feature because it's so inferior to ours. Um, it just gets rid of it, gets rid of theirs out of the way. But I had overlooked when you're editing in the back end, um, in the in the visual builder in the back end there, you know, um, it didn't remove it there. So now it does. So yeah. Anyway, that's the that are, those are the big updates. It's about eight things there. Or so um, this is version 2.1. You know, we're jumping up the version number. And seriously, if you have ideas, I don't care how small it is, let me know. Um, we're looking for new ideas for this plugin. We we don't want it to, you know, get stagnant or whatever. We want to keep adding on to it, keep improving the value of it. Um, so, yeah, let me know what ideas you have, big or small. Some of the bigger ones are a little impossible sometimes, but let us know. We'll see. We'll take a look. So, yeah, and as always, uh, we've updated our documentation, the demo, the product page, all that stuff. Should be good to go with um, all the new features. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy this update. Give me a thumbs up here on the video if you do. Um, leave a comment, maybe something that you like in this update. And like I said, definitely let us know feature requests. All right, well, we'll see you all in our next video.